have I been surviving lockdown? Well, last year we had a very long lockdown and I took the opportunity to make some little promotional videos for my book, Shut Up, Part One. Boy meets girl, girl reads boy's mind, girl doesn't like what she reads. Then the Americans try to steal the mind reading machine. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. So I made some little making of documentaries. I then made a video about how I got my book published by Austin Macaulay. And now I'm making a video about how I made a video about how I got my book published. Will this never end? And a few book readings. Me reading the book with images from an animatic that I had produced. Ralph was oblivious to her approach and turned to walk back up the ramp to the footbridge straight at her. She was still preoccupied with her mobile phone. Damn you young people. She didn't see Ralph looming at her until it was too late. And by then, it was too late. And I put them on my YouTube site. And I also took the opportunity to make some music videos. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. Wish I had the time. Uh, an old rehearsal video and I put the music that I'd recorded <laughs> took some of the songs most of them were covers there were a few originals in there the bend in the sky love that burns which was written with uh, Bruno Berthelot my first guitarist so I thought it's about time I make some music videos for them and stick them on YouTube and uh, then I made some DVDs of some rehearsals, uh, recording sessions, just to keep me busy. A year later, we're having another lockdown. And so I'm taking the opportunity to do some more writing and typing. Writing's easy, typing is the hard bit, because it just goes on and on and on, it takes forever. So at the moment I'm working on Mega World, which is book seven. I'm typing up the changes I've made to the book, and then I'll put those changes into the film script, and turn the film script into a sitcom, which is usually what happens. I start off writing a, a film and it just gets longer and longer and longer, turns into a 13 half hour episodes, 15 half hour episodes. I just can't stop myself. And then after that comes Mind Patrol Part 2, which is a sequel to Shut Up Part 1. I know, it's very complicated. A 10 part sitcom, and I'm turning that into a book. So that'll keep me busy for a while. And after that, I'll move on to the other 30 odd books and sitcoms and films and things that I've got. I mean, it's never ending, the writing, not the lockdown. I mean, if the lockdown was never ending, then I'd probably finish all of this stuff, because otherwise I'm stuck at home. It's like, get up in the morning, go for a long walk, do a bit of shopping, do some writing in the backyard if it's a nice sunny day, then come inside and do my typing while I listen to Star Trek Voyager DVDs. And then in the evening, it's time for the news, and then eventually about uh, 8.30, I turn off the computer and then the next day do it all again because I haven't got anywhere to go stuck at home but it's keeping me busy and that's that's the important bit and like I say this typing is just on and on and on and on so it's, it's sort of good that it's making me stay home and do this damn typing so one day in the future somebody can read these books or watch the sitcom buy the DVD Look at a music video. Hopefully something good will come out of this damn lockdown. This COVID. Alright. Back to work.